If you want to know how many frames you actually get in Counter-Strike, there's actually a cool workshop map called CS2 FPS Benchmark, which I'm going to show you guys right now. It's a cool map that deep dives into your FPS and pretty much shows everything you need to know if you are trying to either stress test or just see how many frames you can get in Counter-Strike when there's a bunch of overloading going on with nades and those sort of things. So before we jump into that, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and then also check out the sponsor of this video, Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a CS2 skins trading site and marketplace that provides an instant way to get new skins. My favorite thing about Skins Monkey is that I can trade skins that I no longer want and trade it for a skin that is equal value. If you use code LOUISCS2, you get a $5 bonus on your first trade. If you want to buy skins, you can get a 30% deposit bonus plus an extra 5% using my code. The link is down in the description. So when you're ready to do a little benchmark in Counter-Strike, all you're going to want to do is obviously select the map in the workshop and then you're just going to click go. Now it's going to instantly load you into the benchmark. So there's nothing you have to click. There's nothing you have to do. You're literally just going to sit here and watch. Pretty much your computer gets stress tested. As you can see, it's going to say start benchmark and we're going to load in. Now it's gonna put a lot of good stats up here so you can kind of see what you are averaging. So for me right now, I'm getting like high 200s, 300s, and it's just literally going to stress test. So they're throwing smokes, mollies, bombs are gonna explode, just to pretty much see how much range you get. Like there in that close molly, I was getting 212 frames, which isn't the best, but obviously since I did switch to native and I am recording, it might be a little bit worse. But just pretty much putting all these things together, like molly, smoke, bomb, explosion, pretty much just stress test your computer just to see how much you can actually handle and then maybe you need to do an upgrade or anything like that like i know currently intel processors are pretty bad in counter-strike right now because there's so many like cores obviously if that's your problem you definitely need to go with an amd processor because amds are just good at multitasking and obviously they're just better for counter-strike for some reason but here we're just gonna obviously go through different situations and pretty much all these situations that it's doing with the stress test can be in-game situations like a molly top mid with a smoke mid door and you know maybe a ct nades it it just shows how much you can actually go through so like up here i got 500 let's say you know b site there i'm getting 220 frames when everything is going down that could obviously be on a retake or something and like here maybe you're blocking the t's out of tons and they're just spamming and you need it i'm getting 190 frames which is not ideal in that situation because obviously i could whiff because my frames drop right so obviously if i do want to play native and record i do need to upgrade my computer but then here we just have some t's running around seeing how many frames we get from this i'm just going to keep slowly going through the map and then the map ends now if you don't have your developer console on make sure you guys do because this is what is going to show you all the stats so as you can see it's going to put me back into the main menu and right here it's going to show my average fps which is 334 which i'd say is pretty good i run a 240 hertz monitor so it's nothing too insane but for all you tech guys out there it's gonna go deep dive into some very deep statistics so if you are having maybe a problem that you don't think is pretty much on the front page of anything and you have to deep dive into it then you can do it right here like i can see my networking stuff server pack entities maybe my ui is lagging server simulation you can pretty much do a deep dive on what you need to fix if you are again someone that's super techie then this map is definitely good for you i don't think there's really any other way to see how your frames are pretty much broken down but that's all i have for you guys today for this video so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out